All right, this is totally tractors. Today I'm using a L6060. It's the Kubota, and we're using a uh, brush hog here. I believe it's uh, Land Pride, or oh, it's got the quick hitch. It's made by yeah Land Pride. So that's what we're using. Yeah, this is the Kubota. L6060. Excuse the wind. I didn't expect to be recording today. I'm just going to give you a quick short of me running down this and brush hogging it. So, uh, that's my plan. I'm going to do like one or two swipes. Give you a nice little video of that. Go back inside the cab. It's one thing nice. The tractor has a cab. So, uh, a bit cool out there today. So, let's throw the seatbelt on. Right? This is a nice tractor. This has the low, medium, and high range. Four wheel drive down there. You've got all your controls here for the rear PTO to turn it on, the height, the speed, your joystick for the front loader. It's all a digital gauge. Um, I'm in medium. It's got 21.3 hours on it right now. And uh, yeah, so I like to uh, turn the uh, I did put on my seatbelt. I'm going to turn on the rear PTO and turn that on. Then we'll throttle it up. Because if it's throttled up all the way and you turn it on, it just shakes like crazy. So we'll turn her up, lower the rear, take off the brake, and we are mowing some grass. It's not high grass. I got to take a trip down to that building down there because I got to drop off some wood I got. So I figured let's do a quick video. So the grass is not that high. So this is out the back. Doing with the L6060. And this is back out the front. Ooh, we gotta stay on target. Stay on target. So this is the view. For today, right now, it's a Tuesday, the 23rd or 4th, I'm not sure exactly. So anyways, just be a quick little video, a couple minutes long. So this is Totally Tractors, Orange Life. Please like, subscribe, share. Like I said, I do well, my viewers do well. So I gotta watch out for those concrete uh, pull boxes. So we'll go around that. And I mean, the grass isn't that high. But I figured I'm taking a trip down, let's do it. So, and then we'll do one on the way back on the other side. But I am going to stack up some wood quick. When we get down here, I'll give you a quick little overview of what the tractor looks like fully. Um, so we have the heated cab. It's got heat, heat and AC. Um, that makes it great, especially today when it's like 26 degrees outside. It's a bit cold out there. And it's, uh, the only thing I'll give it is, is we had an older tractor before this. We had an LA36 or L3600. Yeah, it was an L3600. And it had the cab, too. But this cab is so much bigger than the um, L3600's cab. So you got to watch what you're going around, especially going around the trees. I mean, I got like a foot and a half on both sides of me. So I got a ton of room on both sides of me. So it sticks out a bit further, so you've got to be mindful of that. That's the only thing you got to remember. So we're only mowing at about 3.3 miles per hour, not fast. So I tried, I, I, used, I tried to mow in low range, but low range just, I mean, the tractor just bogs down and it only wants to, well, that's bog down, it just only wants to do 2.2 miles per hour, 2.1 miles per hour. And it's, uh, it could go a little quicker than that. So, we are a brush hogging behind us, making a nice trail. This is the view. Crank her up a little bit. So when I get down to that building, you can see the wind. The wind is blowing across the grass there. So it, it's cold out there today. Um, th that's one thing nice about the cab. I, I do give it that. It's funny, when I get into this after driving my my you know personal BX23S. This thing feels like a, a monster. This thing's huge. 
but uh, there's advantages to a big tractor like this and there's advantages to a small tractor like we have. And the advantages to the small tractor is I can get into a lot more locations where this tractor cannot. One of the advantages to this tractor is, is it has, you know, obviously more power, more late lift capability. So, I mean, that's great. I mean, yes. But you also don't have a backhoe with this tractor. It's not an option. I mean, unless you want to put something on a three-point hitch. And uh, I'm not a huge fan of putting stuff on a three-point hitch like that. So, uh, I hope you're hearing me okay. I know it's a little loud because I have, like I said, I don't have my wireless mic. This was a spur of the moment video. Just figured I'd put this on. Just show you some mowing, some relaxing grass mowing. Um, so this is, uh, like I said, just mowing a front front driveway area, an entranceway to our facility. And what I'm doing right now is I'm just going down to the building over here and I got some lumber from the uh, loads that we had taken and I'm gonna just stack it outside the building over there so we have it when needed. So we'll do that and then we will have uh, one more trip back. You can see the grass bending over over there, blowing. So the wind is coming from the north, blowing south right now. So it's a northerly wind, so it's cold. So, right now we are I'm just going to go down to there and head back to the driveway. I want to finish my path. I mean, it's making a... It's gotten it real good. I mean, it should. It's just grass. It's low. So... Like I said, just a spur of the moment video. It's not going to be too, too long. So, alright, we'll slow down as we get down here. And then when we get over here, we'll turn off the PTO. We'll go up in the driveway and go down on the other side. We'll haul a little bit over there. Actually, we'll just raise the PTO. We don't want to hit anything down here. So let's raise the rear PTO, the rear implement go across and I know if I go over there it's swampy so we are staying out of there so we'll do a swath over here so we'll put it down again put it down right here this is the power the speed of the engine um, this thing has cruise control this has actually like it's a built-in DEF so it'll uh, clean out itself it'll let you know when it's doing it um, we haven't experienced any issues with that yet. It's got the hydrostatic transmission too. So it's got the trundle pedal, you know, forward and back. Um, so again, once I uh, mow this, I'm gonna go just over there quick and offload my wood. Then we're just gonna take a trip back and then we got another truck coming. So we're gonna wait for that other truck. So this is just some fun uh, tractor time. Anytime, like I said, on a tractor is fun. And if I can record it and make a video for you guys, why not? So once we get down here, we're going to turn off the PTO. And I'm going to go over there and offload my wood. I'll show you out back here quick what, what we did. So I see it. I know I'm moving around quick. See it brush hogged it. Very well, cuts really good this land pride. I think it's a five foot mower, I wanna say. But when we're done here, we're gonna go back down that way and just do a, a swath on that side too. So, turn off the PTO, disengage that. And now this also has the, uh, it'll throttle up, watch, as I hit the gas. So it's like a, like a car that way. That's one thing the Kubota BX23S does not do, is it does not throttle up automatically you have to raise the uh, engine RPMs itself. So, I'm just gonna go over here, put this wood on that skid right there for now that I got. I'll show you quick. All right, 
right, so let's set the parking brake, which is right there. Parking brake engaged. Take off the seat belt. I'm going to put you down right here for a moment. So, look there for a second.